Yeah. Okay. Um, we are um, about to start our first round table of the Young Brothers and Sisters of Souls. So this is our first airing of the round table session. And we got some young people here tonight and I'm gonna ask each of them to introduce themselves, their name, their age, and what school they go to. And we're gonna talk about some current topics that um, is trending right now. And they wanna talk about how they feel about these topics. We will hopefully bring you these sessions on a regular basis, um, this round table discussions of the young people of Seoul so that um, America will know um, just how they feel about some of these topics. So we're going to begin with um, introducing each other. Um, with I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Okay. Hi, my name is Jaden Brown. I'm 11 years old and from Milwaukee College Prep. Hi, you guys. My name is Marquette Robinson. I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Milwaukee High School of the Arts. Hi, my name is Amani Smith. I'm 13 years old, and I go to Lucas King Middle School. Hi, everybody. Um, Hi. Glad that you guys, um, I'm going to ask you to come together a little bit closer. Y'all come together a little closer and get you all in here um, at this round table. Uh, we have some topics I know that me and you, all of you, have been talking about um, today. You can't turn your phone while live. Okay, it says I can't turn my phone while live to get you all in. So um, we have been talking today um, about some topics that uh, we've all brought up in the news and you guys have talked about how you felt about it and your concerns and your take. One of the topics that we discussed today was the um, the people that got shot over in Las Vegas, the 50 people that got shot. Um, just how did that make you feel this week to hear that news? Um, how did you feel? Um, to watch people die, um, um, pray, I pray for the family and for the victims that, you know, that didn't make it out of there. Um, so, you know, it's very hard yeah. to, you know, yeah. see stuff like that. Right, 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 yeah, <clears throat> I basically like to say, she said, like, pray for the victims of that Las Vegas shooting. Right. But just, just kind of suspect, like, how, how did he carry them guns and go upstairs? Right. And then they, they just make lies in the news, right. saying that it was more than fifty people. Yeah. And then they trying to make. Movie out of it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Do you think that that should be a movie made out of that, Imani? Well, I feel like it shouldn't be because it's like a tragic movie. Right. It shouldn't be like made up of something that's like tragic. Right. 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 They shouldn't be trying to like get money off of some a tragic. Right. Right. Trying to get money. Right. Right. You know, you know that's something not to play about. Yeah. You know, just like you know, nine <clears throat> eleven. You know, that's mm -hmm. something not to be funny about. Right. That people, you know, lost their lives. Right. You know, right. So I feel like that's nothing to play about. Right. Movies about. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not right. Did it um did it affect you at school or were you okay at school or did your teachers at all discuss it in school at all? Oh. Um, they did talk about it in school? Okay. Did they ask you, were you okay? Or did you have any relatives out there? Or did they address that at all? No. No, no one asked about that, huh? Do you think that they should have? Um, I feel like they should have. Um, I might, we might not have relatives out there, but other people might have relatives out in Las Vegas. Right. We have, class. we know that in our, our church, we have church members here that have relatives in Las Vegas. So they would have been kind of nice for the, your teachers to maybe even ask if any of your students were, you know, affected by that. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. 
it makes the teachers like know that they care for you, not just in school, but like outside of school. Right. Like the trending topics. That would have made you feel better to know that they care. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, did any of your friends? Did they say that they had anybody that were affected or no. anything? Okay, okay. So, you know, I know each of one of you very well. So, I know that y'all were all praying for these victims in Las Vegas. Does it make you scared to go to an event? Um, it, it really, I mean, it does, but at the same time, it really doesn't. I mean, it does because, like, we don't know, like, how he got them up. There could, there could have been, like, security guards there, but they didn't, they, like, let them in on purpose. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. Um, I say that because, like, you know, you can go anywhere, and right? Fun, but then at the same time, you know, like, it's telling us that you know you can't go anywhere anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, you <clears throat> can't have fun, you can have a good time without someone doing something crazy, right? Or getting out of control. And um, I watched the video. Miss, she was she just turned twenty one. Mm -hmm. This girl, yeah, right. she just turned twenty one, and she right. said that she don't even want to go nowhere. So how do you feel? Do you feel like you, um, do you feel like you can go places, or do do you worry about that, or are you okay? You still feel kind of okay. Okay. Right. 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 So do y'all think that this is something a topic that we should. Um, adults should address more with young people. Yes. 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 Especially for like ones like under our age. Right. Like, little people. Right. So they should, should know how to surround themselves. Right. Right. What not and what to do. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. I feel like teenagers yeah. around my age. Yeah. Um, especially around my age. Mm -hmm. um, you can understand that, you know, you know, Everything they see out here, right? You know, so, right? You know, just talk to them and right. make sure they're okay. Right, like right, that. right. Right. So um, we definitely need to talk about it as adults, um, and our parents. We as parents probably should bring it up more, and just to make sure and touch base. Uh, do you think it's talked about too much on the news? No. You don't think it's talked about too much on the news? Okay. What do you think about guns? Do you think about, you know, they want to, that everybody has the right to carry guns? You know, do you, how do you feel about that? Do you think, I mean, because this guy had, he was able to shoot so many rounds and, yeah, do you think, how do you feel about guns? I mean, I think you should, like, I think you should carry guns, not, not like for, Violence purposes, right. but right. like for protection. Right. Okay. Um, okay. So, you know, same thing with people saying. Yeah. Um, you're supposed to carry them around for protection. Mm -hmm. Not carry them to just shoot people mm -hmm. from left to right. That's, so are you saying carry them or have them in your home for protection? Have them in your home for for protection. protection. Okay. Not okay. Have them all out right. Out right. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Amani? Well, I think that people should carry them, but it should not. Yeah. Right. Do you think it should be stricter gun laws, like you know that we should have look at who should be able to have a gun and who shouldn't? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's some good um, good feedback. I know that um, there's a lot of stuff going on and, and we've been talking about a lot of stuff and we have together have talked about some topics and one of the topics that um, you guys brought to my attention was the 19 year old girl was found in the freezer dead and that you know, it touched each of you. In a, in, a, uh, in a different way. But did it touch you the fact 
so much her age or was it her nationality or was it because someone, her friends betrayed her? Okay. And it, it just shows that you can't title somebody your friend. Right. Because <laughs> you don't know what they, what they can do or what they got up their sleeves. Right, right, right. Uh, this story, uh, ever since it came out, mm -hmm. I've been following this story. I've been looking. Um, this story really, really hurts me. Okay. Um, I can say that because I will be Right. Into my weakness. Okay. Um, so that right there kind of hit home. It hit home. Yeah. It, it really did. Um, Made you sad. Yeah. So yeah. I continue to pray for the family. Right. For the victim out there. Yeah. There is listening or they're not. Yeah. I just, you know, I pray for you guys. Yeah. I'm sorry for the loss. Yeah. Yeah, it hits home. It's kind of hard when you see a young life um, that was taken over something silly. Do you think young people not valuing people's lives anymore? Do you think that? Uh, I mean, I can. I'm just asking for your perspective of your age group. Do you think that y'all really understand the value of a life? Well, it's not. I think most people they take it as as a life, they don't really take it as their life. Mm -hmm. They just take it as they can have another life. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not actually like that. Mm -hmm. And then most of the black black people, mm -hmm. they think that they're free, mm -hmm. but they're actually, they're still under slaves. They just don't know. Are you talking about their mentality is under enslavement? Like the way they think is, in, is under slave it's mentality? Not, it's not technically how they're thinking, okay. but it's like when they made, um, what is uh, the Declaration of, of Independence? Yeah, of mm -hmm. independence. They didn't put black people in. It. Right. They put their national. Right, right. So we're right. technically still slaves. Mm -hmm. We just take it as we're not. Mm -hmm. So do you think, and that is a big can of worms that you just jumped into and open up mm -hmm. woo you open up a big can of worms but, um, with the and that's something a topic that I definitely want us to talk about next week is the Star Spangled Banner and uh, what it means to be free so you know you guys make a mental note and, and, and we're going to definitely talk about that um, but getting back to um, this young lady do you think Amani, that it affected you more because her friends betrayed her, or was it because, you know, it was a young African young woman, African American young woman that you could relate to and identify with, or what do you think? Okay. Yeah. So, and also, like, for the friends of. Because like um people now question now like Ooh, who their friends are yeah and, and like uh, who they hang out with yeah because now a lot of people just like question yeah yeah you f question their integrity <clears throat> like are you really my friend or are you trying to trick me because is that kind of it uh, I, okay this is my thing. okay everybody keep Okay, mm -hmm. are you really my friend? Right. Okay, this is <laughs> this right. is a quick quick okay response. Okay. Okay, so in my opinion, my right. personalized opinion, um people should think about that mm -hmm. before this happened. Now people wanna question themselves mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. incident happened. Mm -hmm. You should already automatically know who's your right. family right. friends or who is right. not. Right. Not Wait till something tragic like this happens, right? And boom, right? Oh, I got, I got to see who my real friend. Right, and right. This is, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't come to that point where you have to question your friendship. You right. Know your friend is really not. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it shouldn't come to, you know, stuff like that where you know you got to kill your. Right. That's really tragic that they did that, right? Like, do you think, like, what kind of mindset was a person be in that you could take a young person's life and not care? Because that could be your sister, right? That could be your cousin. 
you know, your auntie or what have you, you know, so that is really tragic to hear that someone could just not care that much for another individual. Um, and then we know that killing someone is a sin. That's a sin. And, you know, do you think that young people are even thinking about killing as being a sin when they do stuff like that? Uh, I say it depends on what environment they're in. Mm -hmm. Like, say if they're in the hood, their mentality is just they mm -hmm. can kill people. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, it can be in any environment. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Because we do know that it happened in urban, I mean, in um, other communities as well, not just in the hood, right? The things, tragedies happen in all communities. But I'm just thinking of the mindset of young people today. You know, you, all of you go to church and y'all know about sin, you know, know about the Ten Commandments and about sin and everything. Do you think that, uh, you think a lot of peers that you go to school with, do you think that they think about what is uh, right and wrong and that this is a sin and this is not a sin? Um, I can say they know they're right and wrong. Okay, yeah, but, okay. Um, I don't know how many people have to Okay. Um, Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They do know what's right and wrong, but sometimes people don't think it's right. Right. And then the consequences come out. Right. But anyway. Yeah. I like to build on to what she was saying. They know the right from wrong. Right. But like, I say, like, during that time it happened, yeah. I think they were kind of like, Drizzy, I think they had a couple of drinks or something, yeah, and then and then they kind of got the mindset of, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. My my other question is like, I wonder did she like sneak off to the party? With mm -hmm. I don't think so. She, I think her mama let her able to let her go because she drove her mother's car. Okay. So um, I believe that she did let her go. Mm -hmm. you know, Okay. Um, and they find some pills in her system. Mm. Oh, in a drink, yeah. Drink. So somebody, she and you know, her. we always tell, um, we always tell young people that if you sit a drink down, if you're at a party, you don't drink it. You walk away from the drink, you don't drink. Whether it's a soda, water, no matter what it is, once you leave a drink. And I don't care if that's your last money, you don't go back and drink that drink because you don't know who's going to put something in that drink, right? So we know that, but everybody don't think about that and know that, right? So, I mean, those are things that need to be, I don't know if it's not been taught, but we know that and we got to continue to tell other young people. So if you go to a party and you your friend go out to the dance floor and dance and be like, where's my drink? Uh-uh, no, don't drink that. You don't know. Who done something to it? Who put something in it? You can't think everybody that's at that party is your friend, or even if they are, you know, you got to be careful, right? So, yeah, that's what her, uh, right, woozy, right, 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 right. That's kind of heartless. They put her in a freezer after they. And then people was kept saying this kept making weird that is she killed herself. Right. So why would she walk all the way down the hallway? Right. Get in the elevator. Right. Walk all the way down to the kitchen. Right. Put in the freezer. Right. Then, that's impossible. Right. It just goes to the topic that most people they get like when they hear something from another person mm -hmm. and they talk to another person mm -hmm. they try to change it up to mm -hmm. make it more interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Or do you think that they made that what make it seem like she killed herself? Well, just because of her, sometimes you know, mm -hmm, because you know, um, you know, it's a lot of factors that could have went into that. We don't know. We don't know. Right. Yeah. And then a lot of times we know that everything is that's on the news is not true. 
it's not true because I've been on the news and I've we've said some things and then they splice it and they made it seem like you say something else. So we have to be careful with believing everything that's on TV, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, um, I've been hearing like um, some different stories that the murder was involved. Okay. So like it's kind of like irritating like hearing every time you. Like the mother was like heartbroken. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. So it's kind of like unbelievable that like, she was a part of it. Right. I, I really find that hard to believe the mother would go through turn on that. She truly, honestly cared about right. her. Right. I'm not seeing my eyes. She right. She loved her. Her daughter. Right. She set her daughter up to die. Right. That's right. why. That'll make sense. That's why it's news, right? And, you know, we got to be careful, you know. Um, they, we got to definitely be careful. I know that. Um, Y'all brought up another topic um, tonight, and um, we're going to bring up this last topic of the driving in Milwaukee, the speeding. Well, like my dad always says, why do they rush? Mm -hmm. Where are they going mm -hmm. to? <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, um, okay, it's Okay, let's just put it all out there. <laughs> Driving to me, it's it's gotta be whole. I ain't gonna lie, so I'm not trying to say it's right, not, but it's whole. It's kind of pushing me back to try to get my license even sooner. Okay, you know, cause I'm scared to get behind that wheel. Okay, okay, okay. So you a little like I'm not really ready to drive because you see it's so crazy out there. Yeah. Right, they drive in madness. <laughs> Almost hit a get two cars. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if you drunk on the sick or whatever may case they be, right? The wheel, yeah. Now, I know this morning was on the news some young kids stole a, a car. Uh, SUV mm -hmm. was on the news this morning, and they uh. Um, uh, ran into a school bus this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, it kind of goes to the point that consequences come back for you. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a connection to when kids. It was these kids who stole a man's car. Mm -hmm. I think. It was a Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. They stole this Mercedes Benz. The man came back. He found them. And then the, the boy had snitched on all of them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But do you think he should have? I think he should. Yeah. But at the same time, he should never did it in, in the first, the first place. place. Right. Yeah. And it's like uh, nowadays, I read it really like, oh, you don't need to be able to Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I was really scared when they, I think it was on the weekends when they had did that race. It was a, like for a fast and furious thing. Okay. When they did that, yeah. I was kind of scared. Like nobody in my neighborhood like, right. even walked out. Right. They didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's, it's, it's definitely, um, the uh, speeding is definitely terrible. And we see, what do you think should be done in Milwaukee? A whole lot of things. Like what? But <laughs> cops. More police. More, yeah, more police. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like my mom said. Back in the days, there there used to be uh, police cars just on the corner. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. there's not even a police. And then and when they when and when they are, mm -hmm. like my dad said, their their chief probably said, "Oh yeah, we have to be in Milwaukee more to know that we're doing our job." But if when they in Milwaukee. Um, do you think that they are doing their job? Because sometimes people say that more police seems like they're harassing people of color. Or do you think that... 
So are people are we having enough police in the in the city that's doing the correct thing, or do we? I know you're saying we need more police. I know, for example, I was at certain time during rush hour. I hate to drive um, because people are driving crazy, and I'm already sick, and I don't want to. You know, I'm going through my own issues, then I don't want to. Like you said, I'm scared to drive home because these people are driving crazy. But at the same time, when I do see a police officer on the corner, it seems like people start driving yes. better. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Do people think know that they're there or do they so no. No. Because I'll be walking out, you know, I'll walk them out of this. Yeah. Not to my head and they up in the corner. Right. You know, I don't know. So it would probably be better if they just parked their car to slow people down instead of hiding. And sometimes it sometimes it doesn't happen to like in right. 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 Be there. Monitor people. Right. But what about if the police are just there during the rush hour time? Seem like we never see them during the time that they're driving crazy, right? Then we know the times that they're driving erratic, and I don't never see the police officers out there I during that time. They yeah. They need to use more of speed. Yeah, yeah. Because like when they go over that speed, mm -hmm. they already it know that. It's, yeah, it mm -hmm. can also slow down, also jack up the car. Yeah, and yeah. then you know, just uh, just the other day when I was um, walking across the street, mm -hmm. and I the bus. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 It's not just a vehicle, it's like a boy. It's like a horse. Yeah, yeah. Like a mm -hmm. They they just think it's like a toy. Like it's a it's a it's, it's a machine that's way tons. So you know it can take a life instantly. You know, um, we've talked about some good subjects tonight. Do y are y'all? What do y'all think? Did we? Anything that we want to say before signing off? Any comment that you want to make? Last minute comment that you want to make to the public that you want to say before signing off? I know that we've talked about a variety of topics, but um, if you had one last parting word or thing that you wanted to say to the people in Milwaukee and across, uh, across the United States, if they're watching, uh, what would that one topic one word or one sentence or one thought that you would want to leave from a young person's perspective. Anybody can go first. I can go. Okay. But um, like, um, there's something like anything can happen, but people just don't know. Because mm -hmm. like the law, like people like didn't see the lost baby shoe coming. People didn't see the 19 year old go fuck the trees are coming. People didn't see the baby getting burned coming. It's like anything can happen, but it's just like people don't know when it when the exact thing happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to tell and encourage people out there, whoever's watching us, um, be safe. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because you never know what's going to, you never know when the death line is going to come and pick us up. Mm -hmm. So just be, just be careful. Be safe. Um, I hope you guys, you know, understand where we come from as youth. 
as young people, not just, you know, sometimes a thought perspective, but from how we feel, because it's a lot of young people involved dying now. So, you know, of course, you know, just talk to your kids. It's okay to sit teenagers down, too, <laughs> to tell them, you know, hey, you know, love your life. Love your life. Spend every moment of it. Don't, don't wake up in the morning wishing you haven't woke up, because God didn't have to wake you up this morning. So, mm. that's my first time. <laughs> He say, surround yourself with good people, and also don't judge a book by its cover. Mm. I like that each one of you have been um, added something to this uh, programming tonight. I thank you uh, for sharing your wisdom because each one of you have something to add. And it's so important that we listen to what you have to say. And I thank you again for coming tonight, uh, for being a part of our discussion. And we're planning on having more discussions um, in the future. So we am, on Fridays, we encourage people to listen to the roundtable discussion of brothers and sisters of... Oh. <laughs>